Hello everyone. So this is the 21 number question from Joseph Gallion, 9th edition. So let's start. So the question is saying, if A is an element of a group G, so we have any element from group G, then we have asked to solve that order of A will be less than or equal to order of G. So for this, we have to, so for two cases, so we will have two cases. So first I'm doing case one, where the order of A is infinity. So what happens when order of A is infinite? Then from here, we can say that E, A, A square, and A, N, and so on, all are distinct. Why? Why can we say this? Because if this is not the case, then we will must have a to the power i, which will be equal to a to the power j. From here, we can say that a to the power i minus j is equals to identity. So from here, I can say that order of a is less than or equal to i minus j. And from here, you can conclude one thing, which is order of a is finite, but we have considered it to be infinite. So these all are distincts. And this all belongs to G because of the closer property. So order of G will also be infinite. And we are done here. Now what we will do, we will consider another case. What will be the another case? So it will be case two. So what will be the case two? Where order of A will be finite. Suppose we are considering that order of A is N. So we have to show that G will contain at least this much element or even more than this element. So from here, I can say that identity A, A square, and up to A to the power N minus one, these all will be distinct, all are distinct. Why? Because if not this, then order of A will be less than N. Suppose if A square is identity, then order of A will become two, but we have considered it as N. So this is not the case. That's why these all are distinct and this all will belong to G. What will happen if this will belong to G? That means G will have at least, means order of G will be greater than N or equal to N. So at least N elements will be there in G. That is why I can say, that order of A, which is equals to N, is less than or equals to order of G. And we are done. So I hope you understand this. Thanks.